Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on Satisfactory for how to make a iron screw set up in a 3x3 area. This is going to be very very simple and actually similar to the one we made with our iron setup from a couple of videos ago. So what we're actually going to be doing is using two smelters but you can use one if you want. It's not necessary but it's good to have a backup just in case. Two constructors and then one splitter, one merger and then you want to use one elevator if you want or you can come out straight out of the wall just like we've been doing on all the other tutorials the room setup will be a three by three on the inside and then it's going to look just like this so if you're going to come out on the floor you want the two window in the middle on the left here we want the one window in the middle two windows on the uh middle nearest the front and then we want a door actually on the back right the other setups had a bit door on the back left the back right will work best with this one so what we're going to do is take out our smelter we're going to face the end feed towards our one-way window and what you want to do is pretty much have your foot pad so like the silver there you can see just on the end of the last foundation your next smelter is going to go right next to it and in line so then what you want to do is then using your constructor we, what we want to do is actually have the constructor be in line but then all the way over to the wall and we want to push it back uh, let's go three so I think three will be good so what this is gonna do is pretty much put all this in line with each other now yes this looks offset which is actually what we want so then using our merger what we want to do is put our merger right after the second smelter and so it's actually going towards our constructor when it merges and pretty much we don't want it going through the wall but like right up against the wall is perfect and then connect these two I'm gonna make a perfect 90 here so one two away from the center of the merger and then connect these two together now this is not a perfect 90 there's no way to get that because we can't really push this forward anymore and you'll see why here in a minute when we get to it now taking our second constructor we want to make sure the end feed is in line with our window here and we want to push it one two away from oop did it I think I moved it by accident we want to have it two away from the wall so one two just like that and what you're gonna do using your conveyor belt you're actually just gonna connect your other constructor with the other end feed so you're actually you're not gonna have that be own separate conveyance you want to connect the two directly because if you don't it might say you're interfering with another's boundary so that's why so then what you're going to do is then take your conveyor if you're going to come out on the floor and then just come out and encroaching another one's clearance interesting haven't had that one in a while so then let's try this one oop that's not gonna hold on let's just put this here so we know there we go come on one two there we go just like that and then what we want to do next is take out our splitter and then we want to have the splitter be just like what we did on our iron one have a tiny little gap between our smelter and the splitter and then connect the two it can be a little finicky sometimes so just be patient I'm gonna have a perfect 90 here going into our second smelter and then what we want to do is connect our outside wall to the splitter and ba boom bada bing there we go our power poles we want to be right next to our windows on the ends and then we can connect these two together and then have this one connect to the two constructors and then have this one connect to the two smelters and we are good to go now again if you want to if you don't want to come out and be flat with our exit with our screws we can use an elevator to come up and it would look something similar to this or if you want to go down you can do that as well you have different options but I'm trying to give you guys as many as possible but yeah this is what it will look like guys so I think it looks pretty good and it's a very very compact setup to make our screws so how this is gonna work is you can use your two smelters to smelt our iron ingots and it's gonna go into the merger and then into this constructor where we make our iron rods and the iron rods are gonna come out into this other constructor to make our screws where we exit and go into our storage systems or to another piece of equipment with those screws 
So thank you very much for watching, guys. It is greatly appreciated. If you want to see the other setups I have done, I've made one for iron, but then also one for steel manufacturing. So if you want to go see those and get a good idea of how to put those into a 3x3 area, go check out those videos, and they should help you out. So thank you for watching, guys. It is greatly appreciated as always, and I will see you guys for the next video sometime soon. Bye-bye.